I work with Parkinson's patients and the novel idea is to come up with new strategies to prevent falls. All the collaborators that I work with, they are truly interdisciplinary and my role in the project is essentially to link one collaboration with the other. So what we are interested in is we are looking at certain signature psychophysical parameters of how patients with Parkinson's disease perceive the balance and of course this balance leads to faults. So that's one aspect of the research. On the second aspect we are looking at what causes them to fall while they're walking. We're developing what we call patient-specific computer models of deep brain stimulation to characterize specifically where the electrodes are implanted in that individual. And what we would like to be able to do is correlate how those neural responses correlate with clinical outcomes. What we're looking to do is develop a biomarker for Parkinson's progression or the propensity to freeze. And that way we can test different environments when these patients come in and see, do they have a greater risk of freezing of gait in faster optic flow situations? That could lead us to determine, is their Parkinson's disease progressing faster or is it stable? Does DBS help them? Subsequently, we hope we can relate that to a decreased risk of falling in these patients. Hexapod is very unique motion delivery system. It's meant for training astronauts by NASA. Somebody in our field came up with a clever idea that they can use this system to move humans to test self-motion. So the concept is that if we better understand the circuitry that we're stimulating to generate benefit and things that we do like, like improvement in tremor, maybe we can find the right place to stimulate to provide improvement in postural instability. And so that's sort of the bigger picture goal of the research.